Hey everybody, Brian here from Qualabs.net. Okay, so progress is being made with the Interactive Brokers uh, TWS Link 2 product. Uh, so we got Windows now in a virtual machine. Um, we got a working copy of a new um, Visual C++ project that you can download, hopefully you can download from Trade Commander's uh, set of examples. I think it looked like it was a bug, but they fixed it. I gotta tell you something, their support so far has been pretty good. Uh, fix the problem overnight or by the time I got up and running. So I wouldn't have been able to do this with the TWS, sorry, with the uh, Interactive Brokers API using Java. I would have been left on my own devices, even their documentation states that. So you'd be screwed. It's more and more reason to use a product like TWS Link 2. Uh, another uh, um, disclaimer, I have no, nothing to do with this product, TWS Link, I don't get a cut in sales or anything, I just like the product, it works, and I try my best to find the best products to help people alleviate some of the headaches that I've experienced for the last um, week or so on the TWS uh, and the Interactive break, uh, Brokers API using the J J Java options. So this is a good option with TWS Link 2, um, obviously you get the support, so if you have problems uh, related around coding on the interactive broker side uh, with the TWS, that can be kind of sort of shield for you when you, you get the support you pay your 80 euro, $85 US uh, subscription per year. So it's very cheap, it's like hiring uh, an additional resource. So when you run these kind of problems, it gets fixed. Another uh, good advantage with TWS Link is um, if there's any updates on the API from interactive brokers, you're shielded from that because you get the upgrade as part of your annual, annual subscription with a TWS link, which is a big deal. So you can just focus on your coding for your strategy and other things. You don't have to worry about those wonky interactive brokers. Um, now, I've gotten some flack already for why am I now going back to Windows and .NET and all that. I didn't choose it. Interactive brokers, um, their API, I'm not a big fan of it, especially in Java. Uh, I don't work the way they do, um, and some of the documentation says basically we can't take responsibility for the API. All your coding is your responsibility. Uh, I've had probably two major problems. I spun my wheels at least uh, five six hours, and uh, I don't like I don't like working that way. Um, I like to get stuff done and progress and move to the next step fast as I can. And this is one really good example. What I'm about to show you with the TWS link. Two. Uh, so what I'm going to show you is Visual C++. I'm here in my Visual uh, Studio. Um, this I just got as a fix for the current version of TWS Link 2. This works fine. So hopefully you've seen my previous video on getting your TWS Link uh, running with the little server uh, connector, uh, the batch utility. And that's another big advantage with TBO, TBO Link 2 is that batch utility will make your life a lot easier. I'm going to show you that in a minute on the coding side. So this is the actual example code that you get. Uh, you just register, you pass your parameters. Obviously, I'm doing Euro, Cash, US Dollar, Ideal Pro, which is the um, exchange uh, and price and some other stuff. Also, I've got here a buy. Uh, right here on the market order, quantity and all that sort of stuff. Now, this is where I got stuck in the Interactive Brokers Java API. I couldn't do this simple little step to be able to close out. If I'm buying, I want to test to sell. I couldn't do that with the Interactive Brokers. It was beyond frustrating and dealing with uh, Ivan who tried to help me out and still got nowhere. But just adding this quick line here, it got it working like that. And uh, that's what it's about for me, at least. Anyways, so I've added this. It works fine. So I'm going to run it. I've got my TWS link. Uh, or sorry, my inter uh, TWS running. Uh, one thing I just learned as part of the configuration, there's the enable socket clients. Uh, unclick your read-only uh, API because we're now doing orders. Uh, and precautions. I learned, just check on all your precautions here, okay? Something I just learned last night. All right, so this is TWS. Here's the C++. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
Um, uh, actually, I'm going to just set up my breakpoint here. Okay, so I'm going to rerun. So I'm going to continue. So now we're going to run the debugger. Actually, let me just do it step by step. Okay, so local debugger, rebuild. Okay, so here's our first step. It's going to register the contract. One line. You don't have to do any of the wonky stuff that, that you do in the uh, API, the direct API with interactive brokers. This can get all consolidated in one statement. Okay, I'm going to show you a trick to it. Uh, so I'm going to step over. So that worked okay. No errors, no exceptions. I don't. And then we're going to now do a um, buy. Okay, so watch this API. You'll see that buy go through. So there's our buy right there. And we get our notification. Boom, boom, boom. Right? Awesome. So now we're going to do a sell on that same um, uh, position. It looks like I just got. Something happened here. Okay, so here we are. Um, did I get an exception or something? Okay, so I'm assuming I can move on to the next step. Okay, let me just go continue. Oh, I know, I pressed step inside. Oh, something funky's going on. Let me rerun it. Okay, so let me just do a quick test here. Here's the log. Um, not sure if we can get rid of these. So we've got, you can see there's a cell right here. So we've got one, two, three, four uh, buys. And we've got a sold. Uh, so we're going to have two cells and five buys, or whatever. So let's run this again. It's out of date. I think we've got to build it. Okay, so there's our execution right there. Step over. Let me make sure I'm not pressing step inside. Okay, so let's minimize this guy. Minimize this guy. So we are looking for a buy right here. So there's our buy. There's our alert. So there's our execution. It ran okay. Let's do one more. Step over. And there's our sell. Yeah. So everything's been sold off. Uh, let's check out our log. There's we had two cells. So now we got two more. The buy and the sell. So there you go. Um, let me just disconnect or continue. Closed out. Okay, cool. But you can see how um, more stable this connection is using this methodology with C++, uh, but you're stuck on Windows. It's a big disadvantage. Uh, for me, um, I've said this before, I didn't make this choice. I wanted to stay on, Win uh, on Linux and Java, um, but really it comes down to your broker that drives your technology choice. Um, in this case, I'm in Canada. If I want good API and automated trading support, the only one I have as an option is really interactive brokers. Now, because of that, I don't want to monkey around with the Java uh, interactive brokers API. It's it's I've looked at it from a, an architecture standpoint. I don't like how it's done. That's just me. Uh, I've been doing architecture for about 30 years, so I think it's kind of wonky. But when you set this up the way it is, three lines to do a buy and a sell using this, you can see it's all condensed into three lines. Much easier, I think. And that's what TWS Link 2 brings. All right, so let me show you that trick I showed in the previous um, video. Uh, hey, let me just get out of this. Okay, minimize everything. Now, what we're doing is we're doing, um, let's load up the, the batch utility for, for the, um, this one. Alright, so we have the batch testing tool. This is the part of TWS Link 2. 
I've shown this in the previous video. So all we're really doing is just the buy. Okay, I'm going to show you a trick that I've uh, got in my course. I'm going to actually put up the other code. I'm actually going to put up this project in my elite membership. So this will get you started at least on the uh, on the C++, Visual C++ side with uh, Visual Studio and all that. So you'll be able to run this as is, hopefully as of today, if you um, are a member, you join or whatever. Okay, so here's the utility. So I'm going to put in a, uh, I think our order is a market order. Let's see if I can find uh, a market order. Uh, market. Oh, no, we don't want that. Mm -hmm. Let's just say we do a place order. Uh, place, entry. Something similar to this. So you can see here, connect, register, contract. What I want you to notice. Now remember, this code is right from TWS link to the, the vendor or trade commander, okay, as, as their exact example to use. But this is how easy it is. See here, we do a connect. We have a connect right here in the uh, statement, uh, in the, the batch, I call it a batch, yeah, batch, batch testing tool. Our next step is we want to register the contract. Um, we do that here. And remember, you're going to get the parameters that you need to uh, put in right here and just match these values of parameters in your actual code in the C++ right here, okay? Uh, and then our next one will be place order. So here, place order, exact same uh, parameters. It's that easy. Um, so you just copy the place order, create your uh, object, your TWS link to wrap object, TWS link, TWS link, and then you have your methods that you can use right here. So if you go place order, uh, get order, place order, or whatever. Okay. And the nice thing is, this is how you can actually generate new C++ code and make, make if you do the, um, so say if I, you, you click on this copy to um, cl uh, clipboard, and if I wanted, uh, it's called TWS link 2, or whatever it's called, is the prefix. Now if I load up my editor, check this out. That's all we need to do, and put that right in your C++ with the parameter setting right here. Like place order, and, it, and it's matched. Or I could just put TWS link dot. And so that's how I do it. It's that easy. You don't have to monkey around with the debugging as in Java or and the Interactive Brokers API directly. This makes life a lot easier. Another big reason to get TWS link too. But again, the big caveat is you're stuck on Windows. Boo-hoo, but I got it working. Happy camper, I've got my cell working, which I couldn't even do in Interactive Brokers API with the Java option. It was just not working. I was spending hours upon hours. I would spend a lot of time getting to this point, maybe an hour, two hours, plus I got the support from uh, Trading Commander or support, whoever's running that. So thanks a lot to them. Hopefully this will showcase some of the powerful things up to date uh, for September 2015 and uh, we uh, are moving on to the next set of steps with actual working interactive brokers uh, TWS functionality cool see you somewhere out there later